To all those people watching, I'd like to remind everyone that this video is not made for kids. It's for older fans and adults. Enjoy the fucking video! Nancy is a guard's daughter. Ever since she was a little girl, she had taken a keen interest in the Scarlaby Railway and would often visit the shed after school to polish and clean the engines. The engines were all very fond of her and always looked forward to her visits. As the years went by, Nancy grew older and her visits became less frequent. Nonetheless, she always made sure to stop by when she could to give them all a good polish. But all that was about to change. The Isle of Man? exclaimed Sir Handel one evening in the shed. Yes, said a fully grown Nancy. The missus and I have thought it over and we agree that it's what's best for our futures. But who's going to polish and clean us? cried Duncan. No one could do it better than you, Nancy chuckled. I'm sure the other cleaners will learn to look after you all just as well as I have. Exactly so, agreed Reneus. But it all just seems as though it's happening so fast. Nancy and the other engines gave a collective sign agreement. But we'll never see you again, said Rusty, trying to hold back their tears. I wouldn't say that, comforted Nancy. I'll still come by and visit the railway whenever I can. I can't stay away from you all for too long. That cheered the engines up a little. And as Nancy prepared to leave for home, they all promised her that they would make sure her last days on the railway would be as excellent as possible. Scar Lowy, meanwhile, had said nothing. He was deeply in thought about Nancy's news. Over the coming days, Nancy visited the Scarlery Railway as often as she could. She visited all her favourite stops along the line, and even volunteered at the Refreshment Ladies Cafe. Everyone was very happy to see her, and they all wished her the best of luck on the Isle of Man. When the days were done, Nancy would visit the sheds and give all the engines a good cleaning. They were all very pleased to see her, and would talk and laugh till the stars came out. Except for Sky Lowy, Nancy began to worry. One morning, Nancy arrived at the sheds with some polish and a rag. She saw Sky Lowy resting alone. Wake up, lazy bones, she chuckled. Your brass is filthy, aren't you ashamed? Scar Lowy opened a sleepy eye and sighed mournfully. What's got you down? asked Nancy. Is it my leaving, Scar Lowy? I wish I could stay, but it's not that, he cut in. I want what's best for you, make no mistake. It's just that your leaving makes me sadder than any driver, fireman, foreman, or controller that's left this railway. Nancy was surprised. Really? I've watched you grow from a little girl into a brilliant young woman, Scarlow continued. And I've been there for so many of the biggest days of your life, like your wedding. The old engine sighed. I suppose that's why it hurts so much more. It's hard for me to think about life on this railway without watching you grow up on it. To me, you're still that little girl who always comes after school to polish us. Nancy smiled touched by Scar Lowy's words. They have a word for all that, Scar Lowy. Love. Scar Lowy looked at Nancy, and then he smiled too. I suppose I sound just like your father now, he chuckled. Indeed you do, you horrid old crosspatch, laughed Nancy. Fusspot, replied Scar Lowy cheekily. The two old friends laughed and reminisced together as Nancy polished and cleaned Scar Lowy for the final time. And for a fleeting moment, they both felt as young as when they had first met. But all too soon, it came to an end, and Nancy had to leave to help at the cafe. Scar Lowy watched her go once again, lost in his thoughts. Soon the day came for Nancy to leave for her new home. Before she left, she stopped by the shed and gave all the engines one last polish and cleaning. When she had finished, Nancy took one last long look at the engines. You've all been wonderful friends, she said. I'll miss you dearly. The engines all tried to hide their sadness, but some couldn't help shedding a few tears. Then as Nancy turned to leave, they erupted into a chorus of whistles as a final farewell to their dear friend. And no one whistled louder than Scar Lover.